assalamu alaikum dear students being a part of uh, college education i am again here to present my seventh lecture on the topic of silence my name is sayed wajid ali shah uh, from government degree college tul district jakobabad so today we have chosen our topic of uh, silence which is given in first year textbook so silence was uh, written by robert land uh, it was written about uh, uh, between 1909 to uh, 1939 so this was uh, a thing of uh, first world war uh, world war because uh, uh, there isn't any uh, date of a second world war so robert land uh, was written too much on silence um, but uh, uh, regarding his comparative study uh, he uh, comparatively uh, described and explained uh, between silence and noise or clamor so dear student uh, today we have to discuss on this topic regarding to him <clears throat> it means writer of this uh, article this essay silence is unnatural to man well sound or noise is natural and appreciated in urban as well as in rural life and that's true in village life sound of birds uh chirping and uh, other exotic and strange sounds are heard there so in rustic life there's a sound of birds and animals uh while in a city life there's also existence of a sound so regarding to him uh, there's another uh, precious sentence that silence and the darkness belongs to belong to fear no doubt uh when we discuss in the field of uh, symbolism the cow cow is a symbol of uh, darkness and uh, there's an existence of fear so mm, this quote is is true that silence and darkness belong to fear sound or clamor belong to life it means living things uh it may be man or animal or any bird it depends upon sound or clamor wherever life and there must be sound so further he said that in this uh, paragraph in this essay the sound is correlated with life well in comparison of sound uh, uh with uh, silence uh, he also appreciated silence that uh, silence is correlated with death and grave uh, as uh, we read in uh, in our first year uh, verse book elegy to country church or tom's grave presented a scenario of graveyard so we said that uh, the silence uh, this uh, feeling of uh, uh, solitude so no doubt uh, silence is correlated with death and um, grave uh, uh, <clears throat> in fact uh, this writer belongs to england and therefore he wants to present or to introduce the atmosphere of england and he says that in england people like noise and movement like noise and movement there isn't any silence each and every wants to move from here to there and to do something with clamor and noise so <clears throat> further he says that poets get best thoughts who says robert land 
the writer of this essay, poet, poets get the best thought and trust from the silence. When poets go into the silence, they can do too much by the help of imagery and by the help of their vast reading. Uh, therefore, this quote is given in this uh, paragraph or essay. Uh, <clears throat> there's another thing. No doubt we are Muslims and we pray uh, in the form of silence. Except Muslims, Christians, Jews and other religions uh, which are existed in, in, in this world, they always pray in dear, student, dear students, I have given uh, some statements uh, and shown a uh, bibliography of uh, the books which are given uh, in this uh, uh, essay silence. <coughs> uh, so, man begins his life uh, with cry and ends uh, it in stillness. No doubt, uh, when baby is born, uh, it, uh, he cries, he or she cries. By making conversation, we prevent a dreadful silence. 90% of human con conversation means no more than the buzzing of a fly. Uh, this one is a huge survey that 90% of human conversation means no more than the buzzing of a fly. The discovery of new notes of sympathy is the secret of all good conversation. We love noise, noise is companionship. Complete silence produces feelings of air, arrogance. The women's senses are the best conversation in the world for two, it means two men, it means two personalities. So silence is also so correlated with They warm uh, the heart classes, and excite the brain uh, like uh, tea. Discussion uh, is an in interesting church, and in temples and other places of worship. And uh, in libraries, uh, there's also an existence of silence. Uh, you should ever want to read uh, the books uh, in silent mode. Okay, so uh, conversation is opposite of silence. Uh, as we know that uh, conversation is natural to men. Uh, dialogue becomes between two men with the help of conversation, with the, with the help of uh, asking question to each other. So conversation is natural to men, which breaks the barrier of silence. Uh, this one is the comparison given by a uh, writer in this subject. And uh, what about the best of, uh, uh, what about the root cause of the writing for uh, this uh, essay? So, <clears throat> there's a phrase or clause given in this uh, uh, essay, Silence of uh, First Year uh, Textbook. So, the clause is that two minutes silence. What was the purpose behind, behind two minutes silence? And it was celebrated on Armistice Day. And this day was commemorated uh, in the memory of uh, uh, warriors of First World War. Because uh, uh, the date which is given in this essay is 1919 to 1939. Um, there was not uh, beginning of Second World War, but that's the thing of First World War. So, noise once again. Uh, I want to repeat it that noise, sound and clamor. So, there's a given comparison between noise, sound and clamor towards silence and stillness. It means no conversation. So, <laughs> this one is a uh, uh, paramount and uh, ma major essay of uh, first year textbook. Uh, and Robert Land uh, wrote uh, this essay, and this one is meaningful. And he compared 
uh, all of the features uh, produce uh, the silent features of uh, silence and uh, uh, conversation uh, or noise or clamor. So, dear student, uh, once again, I will appear. I just start to deliver my next lecture uh, with an interesting topic uh, and the continuation of uh, online and college lectures. So, thanks a lot.